So I've been doing another kitchen insulation and um, got some plumbing to do now. I'm not a plumber, but um, this is reasonably straightforward once you get your head around it. And it's the cooker, 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 depends on how you pronounce it. Um, it's a Pro Free Fusion Tap and um, a cube as well. So it's hot water, chilled water, and sparkling. So tap uh, with all the spare bits and pieces I haven't fitted yet. Uh, some of them I don't need, I don't think I need them. Um, I'm going to walk you through it. Now I'm tight for space under here because it's a huge sink. Absolutely massive. And it's got a macerator as well which takes up quite a lot of room. So anyway, let's, um, let's have a look at the back of the main unit which is, well, for this setup it's this the one. So this is the back of the cube. And this wire here goes to your boiler unit. Here and um, there's actually on here there's two connectors. Now I think um, yeah this one comes with a little bung in it like so that um, you have to take out. Presumably if you haven't got the cube you don't use this. But um, so the connection from the cube goes into the inner socket. Uh, power lead, straightforward enough. Uh, you have got the uh, water inlet which comes from this filter unit here and uh, there's the filter that screws in and you have the gas supply here which fits onto the bottle and then you've got the outlet supply here then tease in to the outlet on the boiler and they both go off to the tap. So this is the supply for that tap and on top of that you also have the standard hot and cold pipes. So basically that's just standard hot and cold, you'd normally have to any old tap and then everything else is done via the third line. Uh, on top of that you've also got an electrical connector which I'm, well, I haven't checked yet but I'm assuming it goes into the other port. But um, we'll see on that when I get to it. Right, I've done the basic installation. Um, hot water supplies at the back there. There it is. Let me zoom in. Yeah, so that's just a standard fit in. And then you've got this arrangement here. The supply to the filter unit comes off the back of this which I presume is a pressure regulator but it's got a tap on it as well. This is the connection for your cold water supply to the and this is a I'm not entirely sure what it is, it's got a tap in it uh, whether there's a filter head in it, you get loads of filter washers as well. So basically that's it. Um, hot water supply, cold water supply, in through the tap and then you've got your various junctions depending on what equipment you've got. Now this is the instruction manual for um, the cube but it gives you the options for what type of taps you've got and basically you just fold out what you've got. So we've got a fusion tap here, fit in here and a Pro B, a Pro Free B uh, boiler unit. So there you can go. The back of the unit 
the power supply, uh, the control wire and the connections on the back. So in the picture it shows this regulator being up the other way, I don't think it makes any difference whatsoever. Um, and then your filters that you put in, all the stuff comes in the kits. Um, I think one of the joints that I did might have been this one here. I really was not um, too happy with that. And so I double sure or made double sure that it did seal. Um, I've got an isolator before that as well anyway, so I'm not relying on this just for an isolator. So let's um, get fit in. I've got the tap to put in and the switch for the macerator. So other than that, all the other units are, are roughly ready to go in. So that one's connected up. That one I've still got to connect up. So the instructions say put on the hot and cold pipes first and um, they are clearly marked red and white, red and blue should I say. And uh, they're just simply screwed in there. You can probably just twist them in with the hose but I would not do them up tight with the hose and try and do them up by hand. So just doing it up until it sort of bottoms out and then just for a spanner just giving it a quick nip like so hole diameter is 30 mil and it wants to be um, a tight don't want that sloppy because it is quite a quite a small lip on there for it to seal on so Right, the bottom of the tap is secured by a bolt and a clamp. Here's the clamp. Um, half decent as well. Cast um, brass. Not some of these flimsy ones that you get on modern taps. Uh, you also get a strengthening brace for thin worktops or sinks. Don't need this in our case. So that's all we need. Um, 12 mil. So there we have fitted the supply pipes and uh, I'm not going to show you up there, it's the bottom of the tap, you don't need to see that. Right, hot tap and, well hot supply and cold supply is connected up. There's the cold there. Uh, that is the supply to the boiler and you can see my hot in the background. So I'm all plumbed in, hot and cold are connected, um, so like I say the hot's in the background there, this is the cold, uh, this is the feed to the filter, this one here is the feed to the boiler, and um, this is the filter unit. I'm going to pop that on. It should, fingers crossed, just screw in there. That's it. There we go. Um, I'll pop that on in a second. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is turn the water on, which I will do um, with the camera off, just in case I need to rush around and um, fix any leaks. I'll bring it back in a second. So the insulation's done and all the setup is done. And um, when you first turn the unit on, uh, there's the power button on the top. But I think it will automatically fire up. The power button is the Q, by the way, and that's on both unit. Um, it will run through your settings. Uh, there's three buttons on the front: centre button, and a left and a right. Um, centre button is um, to select. Um, uh, the right button is to change. 
uh, either way, I think, actually, because it comes up with some arrows sometimes, but it's relatively self-explanatory. Um, on this unit, English is not the first selected language, so you need to go left twice, I think, and it will take you to UK, English, and you can just press it, and that will select it. After that, it runs through a couple of um, tests. Uh, just to let a note, if it comes up with an error 9, your valve's not turned on. Um, just to let you know. Um, also, I found that um, the gas was not, the fizzy water wasn't that fizzy. And um, you've got to make sure that's tight found actually after running the fizzy water and trying to fizz the water um, if you did this up a little bit you heard it hiss through the pipe so the pressure wasn't quite there, it was letting gas out but not enough and um, this unit as well again the cue on the top turns it on constant red LED means it's, it's heating and Flashing means it's up to temperature, or pulsing, should we say, not flashing. So that's that. Hopefully you've got an idea of what's what now. Um, I've neatly cable tied all the wires together, make sure they're all nicely tucked away. Right, so hot water, normal household hot water, normal cold water. Um, it says in the paperwork when you put the tap in uh, the writing should be to the front so that's the way it goes I personally would have had it even turn either way but there you go that's that's what the instructions say one two and turn that's boiling water and if you press hold, it goes blue, and you see it blue, and then turn, that's chilled water, and if you go down and turn quickly, that's fizzy water. And uh, one thing to note, turn it off a little bit before you want it to turn off. In fact, you can see how cold that is. Tips. Right, so uh, the, the pipe work is um, insulated apparently. So it's only the tip that will change temperature. You can see the, well, the condensation that was on there before I wiped it off. But So the tip is in contact with the water. Um, and the swan neck is insulated, so it'll get warm and it'll get cool, but it won't um, get hot apparently. So again, one, two, hot. Sparkling. just cool. So the difference between the cool and the sparking is purely simply just the speed you turn it. There you go. That's all that installed. Working. That macerator is working, not that you're really interested in that. That's not what the video is about, but there you go. So that's that all installed. Hopefully um, somebody will find this useful.